Hey guys, it's Ray. So for today's dessert, we're going to be making something super simple. Chocolate half-covered apple. So for this, you're going to only be needing apple, chocolate, and nuts. And as far as for tools, you're going to only be needing knife and wax paper. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm working with a green apple and uh, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is removing the center of my apple. Once that's done, I'm just going to uh, cut my apple in slices. And once I have done that, I'm just going to um, do what I did in my last video. If you want to check it out, it's how to keep apples from browning. Tiny hack that I found on the internet and has been pretty helpful for me. So I would highly suggest you to check it out. And once I have done that, I'm just going to place all my slices, you know, in the same line. And I'm just going to remove kind of the excess so I can stand each slice up and just kind of cut them in the same length. So the only thing you want to make sure is that once you're done cutting the excess, your slice can actually stand up. This is going to make it a lot easier the next step. Then this is how they all look uh, standing up. And then I'm just going to remove the excess of water with a simple kitchen towel. I'm just going to gather my apple so it kind of forms like the shape that it was before. You know, take your time doing this. So once I have done that and everything seems in order, I'm just going to place them in a new towel. But kind of remembering in which order was which um, slice of apple, if that makes any sense. Okay, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be using some nuts and chocolate. The chocolate that I use is the Hershey's chocolate chip, I think, and I love it. Tastes amazing, and I tempered it. It's not just melted. I tempered the whole thing, following the instructions that come at the back of my package. And I'm just going to take each slice, but I'm going to dip it in my chocolate like only halfway through and then before it dries i'm just going to sprinkle some nuts in there and i'm just going to place it on my wax paper but the slice has to be standing up that's kind of like the the fun part of this project one slice is going to be with nuts and the other one is going to be just plain chocolate and this is where you want to get creative if you want to add more things like toppings i add nuts because i love nuts with chocolate but you can add you know almonds um even uh, chocolate sprinkles, coconut if you like it. And it's going to be really interesting and just visually attractive and it's going to taste good as well. One thing that I learned from this project and I wanted to share with you just in case you go for it, once you dip your slice of apple on your chocolate, make sure you remove as much you know chocolate excess as you can because if you don't, and if you sprinkle your nuts and you put it on your wax paper, that excess is going to fall anyways and it's going to fall on your wax paper and it's going to be like a huge mess, you know? Just take your time uh, removing the excess. Remove as much excess as you can and then sprinkle with your nuts and then you just place your slice standing up. It's going to be much easier and it's going to look a lot cuter. So here's the final result. As you can see, this chocolate is still cute. But yeah, I had a lot of excess in the chocolate and I should have just removed as much excess as I could. I mean, it still looks cute and kind of um, frostic. I don't really know. But if you want to make it cuter and a bit more presentable, just make sure you take your time to remove that excess. And as you can see, my chocolate is not fully dry yet. It's because I was losing light and if I waited any longer, uh, you wouldn't be able to see the final result as it is. But yeah, I just want to give this idea a try because I've seen chocolate cover apples and I just love the idea. But sometimes you just want to, you know, to have one slice. So I thought this was a practical idea. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed it. It's still really, really delicious. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it if you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a try and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.